Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And, and that is little Francis, who's not so little anymore, about 15 pounds, but he is uh, our Halloween kitty, 15.4 uh, pounds, and our uh, resident black cat. <laughs> this All Hallows' Eve is... Uh, the world is always fixated on black cats, and I'm here to tell you that they uh, are uh, getting a bum rap through the pages of history. They're actually supposedly very gentle and kind and even-tempered and calm, and uh, our little cat, Francis, is most of that, most of the time, but he has his moments where he can be destructive. Uh, leaving scars and marks on us from time to time, but uh, that's because he's a cat, and that's what cats do. And poor Dot's down here on the floor eating her little Halloween, uh, Halloween treats. And I hope you're in a good place today. This is just a brief message of hope for today. And uh, we're making preparation for All Saints Day tomorrow, All Hallows Day, and uh, our thoughts today are on the saints of the Lord. Uh, so much of the world is transfixed with darkness and evil and uh, ghouls and ghosts and goblins and specters and uh, such things. That's not where we are. We're in a different place. The Lord Jesus has victory over all of those permanently. And so we keep our eyes focused on him and know that he is with us and travels with us and he's with you today. Uh, uh, enjoy this day of preparation for All Saints Day and for the day after that, All Souls Day, where we remember all the souls who are in the hands of the Lord now, just as we are in his hands today. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday, a wonderful day, and uh, just know that uh, you're in the great company of the angels and saints who watch over us from uh, all sides. And I'm thinking of the ancient hymn, For All the Saints Who From Their Labors Rest. Francis. We'll see you here tomorrow on All Saints Day. God bless you.